Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdy Draws. Um, first of all, I'd just like to apologize for the fact that there wasn't one of these last week. Last week was super tiring after the 10 a day, and that's really no excuse, I really should have gotten it done, but I know, I suck. Um, it was really with the, with the arrival of school that I kind of effed up, so, um, I'm back on track now that I'm used to school again, so let's hope that doesn't have to happen again. Now we're just waiting for summer vacation so we can have a good time. So for this speed paint, I'm drawing the Firekeeper from Dark Souls 3. This isn't a character I know, so I can't really elaborate much on um, the game she's from or um, the character that she is. I actually got this recommendation from my boyfriend, so shout out to my boyfriend for giving me this character to draw. Um, so I drew this character, yeah. I definitely drew her. Look at that, drawing her right now. Anyways, um, so uh, I this one was actually kind of a little difficult to draw, but it was really fun to draw. Like I've never really done realistic hair before. I actually usually avoid that, and it's usually like the second, like the last thing I do because it's so difficult for me. I don't really know how to use it. But I actually looked up a tutorial this time and was like, whoa, this is actually surprisingly decent. And I didn't do very good on it because this is my first try but like I did better than I've done on other videos so like that's always a plus um but I, I followed the references pretty closely um which is kind of the kind of the reason why I even asked my boyfriend in the first place what I should draw is because I need to draw more with references and especially some some like these so um this character was not anime looking she's not flat so I can't draw her with flat colors so I kind of had to go all in on this and try to make it a little bit more realistic and hopefully a little bit more realistic than the past videos I've done because those, those I feel like have been kind of failed attempts at realism. So I hope this one's at least a little bit better. Um, also I would like to just announce that I have put up social media pages and I now have a store and a Patreon. Uh, so the store is going to be selling um, with fan arts. Fan arts is just going to be sold as posters. That's not going to be put on anything. But any original works that I have, those are going on like shirts and stuff. Which I have a drawing coming up right now that I just posted on my Patreon. Um, the drawing itself is for Patreon users only. But to get it on the shirt is obviously not only for Patreon users. Um, I'll have a link to both the store and the Patreon in the description below if you would like to help me out a little bit on there even though there's only like I think six people <laughs> entirely that watch my videos but you know um, maybe one day I'll have a little bit more than six video six viewers and maybe one day I'll have lots of followers on patreon and I'll be ac actually be able to make a living off of art because that just sounds like a good time you know sounds like a great time but I mostly opened up the patreon and the in the store envy because um, I'm trying to kind of get a head start with crap like that. I don't want to be out of high school and then be struggling, which I absolutely will be because, you know, artists, that's artists being struggling because they always are. Nobody, nobody ever appreciates art for what it is. Um, but I'm trying to get a little bit of a head start on that just so I can maybe be at a better place sooner than most. That's really hopeful thinking, I know. But I'm trying my best. Um, anyways, so I have those open. Um, right now, I think I have like three products on the store envy. And then I have on my Patreon, I have really nothing there because nobody has subscribed to me yet. So um, as soon as I actually get like patrons and stuff, I'll actually start posting. Because what's the point of posting things if you have no actual patrons? You're kind of just giving rewards to nobody. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait and there's tears and everything uh not like tears as in like crying tears but like tears as in like cake tears something like that i don't know if that's a good way to explain it but anyways um what was i gonna say i was gonna say something specific oh i have the also i have the um music description in the the music link in the description below which i highly recommend listening to because this was a great song it was a really good piano cover um, I'm glad I had to actually look that up because it ended up being up really nice. So that's going to be in the description and not in the end credits so that I could have, when I make the end credits, I don't have to change the music every time and it cuts down a lot of time on editing these videos once I'm done. 
which is good because I'm usually stuck editing these videos at like 9 o'clock at night and then they take like an hour to export and then an hour to upload to YouTube and I can't exactly leave my computer just hanging in that time. So I'm trying to make the process a little bit quicker so that I don't have to spend so much time on editing and exporting and uploading. These lips, I actually wasn't happy, very happy with these lips. Like, of everything that I drew in here, I was kind of happy with the hair, but with the lips, I didn't seem like I drew those right. Like, they almost seemed too light or something. But, um, so those are kind of bothering me for a little while, actually. And with this, with this drawing, I actually tried to, like, overlay the clothes where I was going to put it over, and then I realized how much of a dilemma that was. It was a big dilemma. No fun. So I ended up having to actually erase a lot of the layers that I had, like the neck layer right there. I had to erase that. Um, just a question for you guys. Does this look at all like the Firekeeper? So I feel like I tried my best, and it didn't actually go very well. Um, oh, this part, this part, the necklace. I'm actually not drawing it here. The necklace is going to be done later. But um, drawing the necklace, you'll see later on was actually it was one of my first times actually drawing metal and so I, I gotta be honest when I'm drawing stuff like that stuff it, it, it you don't realize how much you don't draw and how much you don't know how to draw until you've done leaning back towards the 10 a day challenge until you've done the 10 a day challenge because I drew a bunch of things that I've never really drawn before and I realized how many things I've never drawn before because you'll see artists that are going in there like drawing things and they'll be like oh yeah I've done this before that's so fun but really the only thing I've ever drawn is buildings everything else I had never drawn before so I'm trying to kind of get um, a little more experience with objects so hopefully this necklace turned out good you'll see that in the end though so you guys can critique me on that and see how I actually did um, the clothing I got I think I got um, a little lazy on but I did figure out that if I use watercolor on it, it looked a little bit natural. So it's oh crap, I think I forgot to add the border to that. I'm literally pointing out all my flaws so you guys can just judge me. Like I feel like if I didn't if I didn't point these out, you guys would have been like, oh yeah, just cool drawing, you know, whatever. But I have this mighty need to point out literally everything that I do wrong. But oh well, whatever. It's a good time. This part was really difficult. This part, because I didn't really know what I was doing, and so um, I had to keep referring to the reference, and even then I didn't even use the reference to the fullest extent. I just kind of put dots everywhere. But I'm not, see right here, that's where I effed up. I'm not good at metal, and I've never really done metal before, especially intricate masks like this, and I didn't want to spend hours and hours and hours doing this, so I kind of had to find a way to simplify it without making it ugly and not look like metal. So hopefully I did good on that. Um, I learned where to put the shines, and that's always nice. I think I, I don't think I was supposed to use brown though. Also, how do you guys think of the lighting? I tried to make a lighting element. Anything further from the left side is like a, it's like a dark brownish kind of color, and then anything closer to the lighter side is like a pinkish color because it's supposed to be like a, like a lighter color right there. Also, uh, which is by the way, shout out to Turquoise D for turquoise tea for literally putting up uh, um, a tutorial just for me because I'm so inept at color theory and shading and everything that she had to actually make a tutorial just for me and then I think she actually posted that so check out her tumblr por favor um huh this part was actually kind of fun it was weird but it was fun also I think I do a background in this at some point which Actually, see, this is where I think I was going to do the background, but then I realized I forgot to do the necklace. And here it is, the necklace, me doing that super radical necklace that is actually probably just decent at best. I hope you're proud of me, boyfriend. I hope I did justice to this character, which I absolutely did not. Whoops, sorry about that. Hey, I think I'm almost done. Oh no, this is just me filling a necklace. This part was actually really fun because it came out like I wanted it to. And I, it, I thought it wouldn't, but it actually did, and that was pretty nice. So, we're nearing the end of the video, guys. Basically, just check out my Patreon, my store envy, and everything I'm going to have linked in the description below. Um, I'm putting in the background. This is like orangish, brownish lighting. Um, also, this is the first time I've ever done like real backgrounds. So, that's pretty nice. But anyways, yeah, so we actually are nearing the end of this video, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you'd like to see me draw something, put it down in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Bye!